I confronted my husband with everything and he adamantly refused to admit to anything. It hurt me more that he never admitted nor apologized. Ever. He asked me where I got this information from, but I kept my promise and told him it was from an anonymous tip. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, I'm full of regrets believing that my husband cheated on me when he didn't. And a big shout out to Ian for sending this story. And guys, what we have here is a story that's going to really make me, th it makes me think of the saying from Al Bundy, never try to understand women, women understand women, and they hate each other. And in this story, this is about a gal. She's been married to her husband for like a couple years. And out of the blue, she heard his sister, her sister-in-law, talking about him cheating. And at the end of the day, she talked to the sister, and that sister provided proof that, her, that uh, this girl's husband was cheating. And lo and behold, this woman believes her and sees all this proof and then confronts her husband. And he, of course, said, I didn't cheat on you. And she ends up kicking him out and all that. Well, you're going to see down the road, she's going to discover that actually this guy's sister and her friend orchestrated this whole thing, that he never cheated. It was it was total BS to try to break them up and get uh, this, this girl's husband with her friend. I know there's a lot of names in this thing, so just bear with me here. And now she's heartbroken because the husband wants nothing to do with her and, the, and that this whole big scheming mess and all that. And it's about how this whole thing goes down how she discovers this and everything. And of course, the pity party because he wants nothing to do with her. And I'm doing this one, guys, aside from the entertainment value, to show you just how low some gals can go. Now, all people can stoop to lows, but even family. And you're going to see here, she uh, doesn't give her husband a chance. She won't let him explain. She won't listen to him. She immediately assumes he's a cheater and believes all the BS that came from his sister who set her up and played her like a fiddle. And of course, all the proof she had is you're going to see it was totally photoshopped and all that. It's quite a story. So it starts off, says here, cheating is something that I've always had strong opinions about. I've been cheated on before and it sucked. Everyone knows I don't forgive cheaters. So when my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, staged an elaborate scheme about my husband cheating, I ended the relationship. My relationship, unfortunately, wasn't the only one that was affected. My sister-in-law, Lisa, who's 32, and her best friend, Emma, 32, and my husband, Jamie, 29, were best friends growing up. Emma got married early when she was 20. Her husband was abusive. She had two kids with him. She got divorced 10 years later, and she was finally free from his abuse. She suffered a lot. However, he was, probably still is, in therapy, she and her, her and her children. So Emma is the friend of uh, her husband's sister. I met Jamie four years ago. We got married two years later. You got married after knowing each other for two years? Smack. Way too soon. Everything was just awesome. What I didn't know was that Emma wanted Jamie and Lisa made it her mission. When Emma finally got divorced to bring her brother and best friend together. I didn't know any of this, so I never thought there was a hidden agenda. When, I, when a few months into my marriage, I overheard Lisa talking about how Jamie was cheating on with a married colleague of his. In hindsight, I can tell it was staged because she was saying unnecessary details and was very loud about it. She meant for me to hear it. I confronted her then and there, and she played very flustered and apologized and begged me not to ruin my marriage. God, this is this guy's sister. Talk about awful. Goes to show even your own family can turn against you. <clears throat> she told me that Jamie loved me and she never wanted to lose me as a sister. But at the same time, she provided me with pictures and texts and they were all photoshopped of my husband and his colleague. She begged me not to mention where I found out and I was grateful for her support and promised her not to expose her as the source. Oh my God. Now clearly this sister knows this gal who's telling this story is emotional, has been cheated on before, and doesn't have any patience or tolerance for cheaters, which nobody should. <clears throat> the problem is, she blindly believes her. I confronted my husband with everything, and he adamantly refused to admit to anything. It hurt me more than he never admitted nor apologized, ever. He asked me where I got this information from, but I kept my promise and told him it was an anonymous tip. So, 
he's not going to cave. He didn't do this. He didn't cheat. And she doesn't want to believe him. Now, of course, she was set up, and that's awful. And this guy's sister and her friend are, are total harpies and are awful. But she didn't give her good husband, who sounds like a good guy, a chance. I also went so far that I contacted the colleague's husband. At the time, I thought it was the right thing to do. The colleague is this very beautiful woman that my husband worked very closely with, with many hours of the day. I was a bit jealous of that, and I confided my fears to Lisa. She used it against me. So not only is one family being ruined, but two. I asked for a divorce, and the colleague's husband did too. After that, Lisa, who I thought was my friend, who called me her sister, disappeared from my life. Like I never existed. Even when I bumped into her, she was short with me and indifferent. Months by, I was still heartbroken, heartbroken processing the situation. My husband stopped trying to make me see reason and agreed to the divorce. He said he wanted to move on. I started having doubts. Why is Lisa doing this to me now? She was my friend and one of the best for me, yet now she didn't even answer my text. I followed both her and Emma on Instagram, and I started seeing how Emma and my husband gradually started hanging out. At least once a week, Emma or Lisa shared stories about my husband with Emma and her children. This, her, now her husband, soon to be ex-husband's sister, played her like a fiddle. And it's terrible. But you know what? You can't feel too bad for her because she just blindly believed it and didn't give her husband a chance. Two families ruined because of this guy's selfish a-hole sister and her friend. Uh, what I did next is very questionable, and yet I don't regret it at all. I was desperate, and I needed the truth. I was still very good friends with Lisa, on-again, off-again boyfriend, Mike. Uh, Mike's, Mike's sister. There are so many names here. I can see how it's confusing. Okay. Lisa and Emma. Lisa's the sister of this girl's former husband. And Emma's the friend she wants to hook him up with. And Mike is the on-again, off-again boyfriend of Lisa, the sister. And there's his his sister. Okay. I know it's a lot. I told her my doubts at, about everything. I told her that Lisa was my source, that my husband was cheating, and that I'm starting to doubt everything, and I needed their help to unearth the truth. Mike was easier to persuade to help me than I expected. He had Lisa's passwords, and he went through her messages with Emma. And there was everything. They applauded everything. They used my idiocy and my insecurity and made me throw the best thing that ever happened to me away. He sent me all the proof that I needed, even the original photos they used to Photoshop my husband with his colleague. Look, unless they're masters at Photoshop, a lot of times when things are Photoshopped together, it's pretty obvious. So obviously this girl is obviously dumb as shit and also so hot-headed and emotional and secure that she didn't really do a whole lot of examining of the, uh, of the artwork that was done here. <clears throat> he sent me all the proof I needed, even with the original photos, blah, blah, blah. My world has turned upside down and again, I went deeper into a deeper down depression. I stayed in bed, called in sick for two weeks. I not only ruined my life, but another family. Yes. Now that you have this information, you need to do make up for your freaking actions. You need to let your husband know your, that not to try to get him back, but let him know what his sister did, that he could be ending up involved with this Emma chick who's also evil, and let that family that you contacted know as well that it was all a big stage bunch of BS. Maybe you can save their marriage. But, uh... In my opinion, your husband was obviously trying to make it clear he didn't do this. You didn't listen to him. So you don't deserve him, to be honest. I don't know why I'm writing here. Pity. I want advice or just to vent. To vent and pity. I don't blame anyone but my stupidity for ruining my marriage. I should have trusted my husband and the love he showed me. I should have been honest with him about everything and where I got the news from that he was cheating on me. Yeah, you should have trusted him. I should not gotten to the uh, hurt. I should. I should have not gone to the hurt to hurt the colleague and hurt her family just because I thought her beautiful. She has since quit her job and moved, but still her husband's contact. But I still had her con. Sorry, guys. But I still had her husband's contact information. I had to at least apologize. We met and I told him everything. He was so angry with me. He was crying and yelling at me, and all I could think of was I deserved every insult he threw at me. Yes, you did. I found the colleague on Instagram and DM'd her everything and a long apology. She didn't answer me. 
I wouldn't answer you either. <clears throat> I don't know if I should tell my husband too. I know I don't deserve him at all. And I know that he doesn't want me anymore because he should just know what Emma's doing to him and what she's capable of doing. He deserves to know the truth. Maybe I can start with reassuring him that I'm not trying to win him back. I'm just trying to help him understand and apologize. I need to apologize for everything? I don't know. Well, this is a whole shit storm. And again, the biggest a-holes in the story, again, are this, this girl's soon-to-be ex-sister-in-law and her friend. We can all agree there. But uh, this gal was played like a fiddle, like I said, and she didn't give her husband a chance. So she's the a-hole there, definitely. And yeah, on one sense, you can feel bad for her, but on the other hand, she didn't give her guy a chance and immediately, without thinking about it, sent that to the, uh, the her husband's colleague's family because the woman was beautiful and potentially ruined that marriage. Now, we got an update here as to what happens. She says, hi, <clears throat> I now have an update. Thank you for all being so supportive. I honestly didn't expect that, given how long and boring my story was. I remember being so desperate and wanted to tell everything from the beginning and put it all out there. Maybe to try and make excuses for myself and for what I did. I appreciate that you all wanted to help. I decided not to meet up with Jamie. Every time I tried to text him and ask him for a meeting, I would panic. That was, wasn't a good sign at all. I wanted him to know everything, in detail, and I tend to be all over the place when I'm panicking. Somehow that does not surprise me. So I decided to email him instead. I made a lot of drafts, cross-checked all the information, and waited a whole day before sending the information to him. Adding some detail here and there that I've forgotten to include. I sent him all the manipulated pictures and the original. Even screenshots that Mike sent to me from Lisa and Emma's conversations. I made it clear, however, that I wasn't trying to manipulate him to have me back. Bullshit. Bullshit. She wants him back. Come on here. She knows she fucked up. She still loves him now, now that she knows it wasn't true. But she's trying to make it like, I don't want you back, but I want you to know the truth. And yeah, she does want him to know the truth, obviously about his sister and her a-hole friend, but she wants him back. <clears throat> it's always manipulation going on. Always. One way or another. Uh, every screenshot Mike sent me from Lisa and Emma's conversations, I made it clear they want him back because I knew that what I did was unforgivable, but I wanted to warn him about who he's dealing with. I told him that I've been watching Emma and Lisa's Instagram and I've seen what he's getting cozy with Emma. I wanted him to know all the facts and that he was dating her and this took all the energy, my energy to write. Just the thought of him seeing, of dating Emma. I mean, I can't. I texted him that I've seen him and I sent him an important email. Her way of writing these things is a little off, guys. I'm doing my best here to uh, navigate it. You can see why she said my mind is all over the place. He didn't answer me. Shocker. I wouldn't answer you either. On Wednesday when I came back from work, Lisa, Emma, and Emma's two children were waiting for me outside of my building. Uh-oh. Cat fight. When I let them in, stupid, stupid, I know, Lisa started yelling and threatening me. She let them into her house or apartment? Is she out of her mind? A whole throwdown could go down, the whole cat fight, and then the cops would come, and they'd say, why'd you let him in? And she was like, well, I let him in. <clears throat> Lisa started yelling and threatening me. She told me to call and tell Jamie and Mike that I have made all this up because I'm a pathetic loser. She told me I didn't want her as a enemy because she would make my life sour, believe me. She said, you don't want me to make destroying your already miserable life my mission. Well, this a-hole sister already did ruin her life at this point. She should have been recording all this. <clears throat> Emma just smiled the whole time. God, you want to talk about bitch central here. She later said that my husband always had a crush on her and that he would believe my nonsense. He wouldn't believe my nonsense because he could finally be with her. The thing is, it felt like Lisa was more angry that Mike knew that she did what she did rather than her brother, and she was really annoyed about Emma and told her to all to shut up. <clears throat> I couldn't get them out of my apartment, so I just left and called Jamie. I told them they were my place and that I couldn't get them out. Fifteen minutes later, I saw them leave. Jamie texted, texted them that he wanted to come over if it was all right, and I said yes. All right, now we're going to have the whole discussion with her soon-to-be ex. He told me that he was very hurt that I would doubt him like this and believe the rumors. I told him everything, again, without panicking. 
I told him that I loved and trusted Lisa. She was like my sister, and I asked him to put himself in my shoes, and if he happened to hear Lisa talk about me being unfaithful, would he have any doubts in his loving sister's intentions? He stayed the night and left the next morning. <clears throat> stayed the night, huh? Now again, yes, she was put in an awful situation because she thought this guy's sister, her husband's sister, was her friend. Okay, fair enough. But still, she should have trusted her husband, at least listened to him, and really examine the so-called proof. But again, the biggest a-holes are the sister and the friend, but still. She dug her grave. We've been texting several times a day and talking on the phone and FaceTime every night since. He says that he loves me, but he doesn't know what to do. He is very hurt. By his sister and Emma, of course, but even by me. He hasn't talked about canceling the divorce process yet. I will just have to wait and see if that's as that's understandable. I've turned his life upside down in such a short period of time. Yes, you have. And this poor bastard, he doesn't know who to trust. Because now he realizes his sister did this. So this is his sister. He's going to see her from time to time. So he can't trust her. Obviously her a-hole friend. And now his wife. And I mean, he's just... I, I bet you he probably just doesn't want to be around anybody at this point. Think about this. If you were in his shoes, how would you feel? I'd be at the point like, you know what? I'm done with y'all. My sister, her friend, even you, wife. Okay, because you should have believed me. End of story. And I would just probably move uh, out of state or something. On a happier note, my husband's colleague and her husband are back together. My husband met with them and apologized. I've already told them everything, but my husband felt the need to apologize personally. It's not his fault. He didn't do anything, but obviously he had to be the one to obviously help, you know, smooth things over. Well, thank God that family that had nothing to do with this was fixed. <clears throat> Mike has ended it with Lisa. Lisa and Emma's front relationship is very strained. Both have blocked me from Instagram, of course, but apparently Lisa is blaming Emma for Mike leaving her, and Emma has tried to throw Lisa under the bus by telling Jamie she was innocent all in all this. Of course, the a-hole sister is telling the, the brother, her husband, that she's innocent in all this and didn't do anything. And even if I guarantee he had all the proof, then she would cry and say, well, I wanted something better for you. <clears throat> I really hope my husband forgives me, and I promise I will make it up to him and love him forever. The end. So that was the it for that part of the story. If there's any updates, I'll let you guys know. But this is a perfect example of the lengths the gals will go to to get what they want and get their way. And that guy's sister didn't care at all about him because she felt that she knew better because she's the, the sister and felt he'd be better with her friend. And the friend went along with this. I mean, just... And, and people wonder why so many guys are walking away from relationships, certainly marriage, how guys don't want to hang out with girls. I mean, I did a video today on my other channel, many of you guys probably saw this, about pretty much about men and women can't be friends. It's all bullshit. You, I'm sure you guys saw it if you didn't check it out. And I go for the reasons that, that men have their tr real intentions, why they, they're so-called friends with girls and girls with guys, but just it doesn't work. And one of the things is guys don't that actually get this don't want to listen to all their babbling bullshit, get caught in the drama and all that. Right here. I don't think that guy should give her another chance, to be honest with you, because he tried to tell her the truth. She didn't want to hear it. And, and just because she was obviously a hothead and very emotional and secure, she trusted the uh, the sister blindly. Look what happened. No. Uh-uh. This guy needs to move on. I would have nothing to do with the sister after this whole thing. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let us think about this. What do you think? Should this guy give her a second chance or uh, move on? I'd like to hear your opinion on this. And guys, you come across a good story you'd like to share, by all means, email it to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it, and I will eventually. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.